Back in 2015, when my Model S was built, there was an option for rear-facing seats. When I was shopping for a used CPO Model S in 2019, I only had a couple of required features, and the rear-facing seats was one of them. If you're interested in how that buying experience went for me, I made a video about it which you can click on the card above to watch. We've now been using these rear-facing seats for a year and a half, and the kids love them. The seats are super easy to fold up and down, and it's super nice to be able to add extra capacity around town when taking other kids to school or the park or anywhere else. The main limitation of these seats is that in the heat of the summer, the air conditioning is woefully inadequate to combat the heat coming down from that rear glass, even with tint on it. I knew this was a limitation based on forum posts I've seen in many people creating various solutions to the problem. A while back, someone tweeted Elon Musk about the problem and he just said to make sure the air conditioning was set to intake fresh air to ensure there was positive air pressure in the back of the car to push air out the vents back there. And he also said to turn the fan speed up to the max. And it turns out that it won't let you go to the maximum air speed while it is bringing in outside air. It forces it to be recirculating if you go above nine. Well, we tried that and the noise from the high fan speed is super obnoxious. And while we're getting blasted with cold air, the kids are still sweating in the back. It just isn't good enough. In May this year, I decided to install a trailer hitch and trailer light wiring on my Model S to help me get by with my minimal towing needs until I can get my Cybertruck. I knew that this would be the perfect opportunity to add a 12 volt power port in the back of my Model S, which I could use to run some fans to hopefully eliminate this problem for the rear facing seats in the hottest months of the year. When not using the fans, it would also be useful to have this power back there for charging batteries or just running electronics in general in the back of the car. I've already made three videos about the why and the cost of the trailer hitch installation and how I did it, as well as the trailer light wiring. If you're interested in how I did that, then click on the card above to view the playlist. I'm going to be creating one more video in this series outlining my first summer of having a trailer hitch on my Model S and how it has gone so far. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can get notified when I upload that video. In today's video, I'm outlining how I set up the fans using the 12 volt power port that I already installed as part of the trailer light wiring video, which you can watch from the card here above. Something to uh, point out about these fans, I got them on Amazon and I'll include their link in the description down below. But the base of it is a suction cup. And so I'm planning on suctioning them to the little side window here. Here, I'll come around to the outside. So I'll be suctioning them to the inside of this little uh, window right there and then they'll be blowing air straight through the hole here on the side into this trunk area and there will be one on either side and that way the visibility is not blocked right here and here for the driver looking out the back window. I guess alternatively I could just leave the fans uh, not stuck suctioned to the window and I could just let the kids hold them on their faces because they are loving it. And right now I just have a temporary setup to prove the concept. Right here is a negative clip on, on, the, uh, on a bolt on the side of the car here. And then here is the positive uh, clip going to the, the wire going to the 12 volt battery in the front. So then over here I have a that power port here that has a power port splitter on it. So with those plugged in there, now what I can do is there's a controller right here. And that controller turns on this fan right here. And so it, it blows pretty well. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but it's definitely blowing. And then there's another one right here that has another controller. So we're gonna have these two fans connected back here along with the trailer wiring. I have everything put back together and it works. It makes me so happy. If you check out right here, this is what I did. All of the plastic work is put back together and it looks great. You can't even tell I did anything, and that's the goal. All right, that's how the fan turned out. It fits there really well. Suction to the window and pointing through this opening right here. And you can see the wire here is just going around the corner, and I'll show you that on the other side in just a second. On the other side of the car, here's the other fan. Now let's go to the other side. And in here, um, this is where that wire goes. I just looped it around here and then I tucked it into this uh, weather seal all the way around and down and then that's the controller just hanging right there. 
Now the one on this side obviously has a much shorter run and so I actually have the wire just tucked underneath this plastic right there going along behind the carpet and then I zip tied it in a bundle and it's going up through that hole and it's back around in there. This isn't really a true test because it's not really hot and the, 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 the gate isn't shut but the girls are sitting here and you can see wind on their hair. <laughs> Do you love it? Yeah, it's a fan for you. And they love to be able to turn the controls on. One thing I've noticed is that they uh, like to have control over something. And in this car over here on the side, right here is the switch that opens the gate. And so they love to sit on this side so that they can have control over that. But now they're going to love sitting on this side so that they can have control over the fans, but they'll both have something to do. I made an improvement here. Uh, you can see this is not just dangling anymore. I took this piece back off, and then as the wire got to right here, I then ran it down behind this piece of plastic, and it now comes down right there. And then the controllers both, I have them tucked up here in above this carpet here in this hole. And this also is up here where the uh, wire is for the uh, trailer uh, connection. So I'll pull it out from there when I need it. But then both of these wires come here to this uh, splitter. And then on this splitter up here on the top, there are power buttons. So I can just press this button and then that fan turns on. And then on this other side, I can press this one and the fan on the other side turned on. So that'll be nice, it's just straight on and off. The kids don't need to be playing with the dials and this is not hanging right here so it's not as ugly. So that looks really clean and nice. I have this stuck here with double-sided tape. If it gets ripped off, which it probably will because it's just on carpet, which is hard for it to stick to, I'll probably find some other solution and probably tuck it back here in the corner. But that's how it is at this point. It also shows the voltage and then it's also got a uh, USB Type-C port and a QC 3.0 port over here and a 2.4 amp port over here. So we could be charging uh, tablets and phones and all kinds of things back here as well as running these fans at the same time. It has now been installed for three months and that splitter still is sticking just fine to the carpet with that double-sided sticky tape. So it, it seems to be stronger than I originally expected. In summary, if you have the optional rear facing seats in your Model S, then this is a great solution for cooling them. And I recommend that you go ahead and install a trailer hitch for accessories like bike racks while you're at it since it's all the same labor to take off the rear bumper and take the frunk out. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and change the bell notification to all to automatically get notified when I upload my follow-up video of how well the Model S has performed towing this summer, as well as many other videos I have in the works. Thanks for watching!